When we first started in the conditioning monitoring market, we were deeply focused on making sure that our customers will face fewer and fewer machine breakdowns. Now, the experience of monitoring goes all the way from registering your first asset to acting on the failures after getting an insight. However, the whole registration process can be too time consuming. Depending on the number of assets you need to log in, it becomes too repetitive since actions are pretty much identical. For this reason, we wanted to introduce an easier way to register assets on the platform, while also identifying equipment specifications unknown to our users about their own machines. Sort of a way to automatically parameterize assets. Asset GPT allows for automatic filling of specifications for several asset types, which improves the asset tree registration process. It's a much better experience, way more streamlined than manually creating a spreadsheet, for example. You can use um, the machine's serial number to register it as a new asset on the platform. And then autocomplete information will pop up on thousands of technical data sheets, including motor manuals, bearing catalogs, troubleshooting guides, and so much more. We import data from millions of machine databases to provide personalized information. And this, it goes so much farther than the regular AI prompts or models that you could find elsewhere. Equipment type, for example, accounts for approximately 50% of our current registered asset base. By filling in the motor ID field, the platform will search our more than 6 million logged models to fill in the other asset specifications all automatically. You can also scan a motor plate and will automatically provide the specifications and data sheets attached to that asset. There is also a manual section which enables you to centralize all asset documentation for an easy access, like asset status sheets, technical drawings, ID plates, and so on. But there's really no use for streamlining asset registration if this data isn't going to be used to predict failures and track equipment history. Once you have all your assets registered, and the condition monitoring process begins, if your machine shows signs of malfunction, you will get an alert about it. All of the inputted data, including the uploaded documentation, will be read by Traction AI to generate these tailored inspection procedures. The failure alerts and diagnostics need to be used to continuously improve reliability strategies, or else you won't be taking full advantage of this data. Inside the Traction platform, those alerts eventually become historical records of every variation in that machine's condition. When you have enough of them, that's encompassed into what we call an event. With events and inspection routes linked to insights, we can see equipment failure journeys from start to finish. Starting at the root cause, through to potential failure, functional failure, and finally intervention to avoid total failure or even a breakdown. So concentrating everything in one place allows for traceability, a complete history for increasingly accurate insights. And there is potential to go much further. We wanted to give our users the power to find a failure's root cause, to control downtime, to pinpoint MTBF, and to develop RCA strategies. All of this with the goal of increasing one thing, reliability.